Anybody who understands anything from, about men and women know that a woman needs a big dick. Except my definition of big dick is not the same as surface folks' definition of big dick. When I speak about big dick, I'm talking about a man that is full. And that unlocks something in her. It is the master key. In the twisted world, you had a man who's praised because he's six foot eight and has a penis long like this, because that's now a big dick. It's not a question of size of animals, no, no. And then he pounds the living shit out of her. And now that's the man. Well, what's he, what is he, unconsciously, what is he trying to do? He's trying to access something. And that's why he wants to pound the shit out of her and break her to access the jewel. So this is a form of Primitive hacking. Listen, listen, check this out. In science, you know science, they'll say that laughing is good for your health because laughing releases dopamine. So what do they do? They have a bunch of people who do laughing yoga. So they try to pretend to laugh to secrete dopamine. Now, you've, um, if, you've, if you're fortunate, you've already laughed in your life. Like, a, not a fake laugh, <laughs> like fucking moron. I'm talking about a genuine, like, full-hearted laugh. You know what I mean? Do you think a fake <laughs> can replicate that? Of course not. So do you think the laugh that comes from joy, relaxation, inner humor, sensitivity, and all of this, right? Like your being is light and happy and you laugh. Do you think you can replicate this with a fake laugh with a bunch of people with fake laugh? Absolutely not. So the same, this is, this, is, this is what I'm trying to say. This is what the modern world tries to do. It tries to hack nature because it doesn't have access. So let's fake the laugh to try to get the same effects as actual laughter. But actual laughter isn't ha 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 ha. It's a free flow of energy expressed in a particular direction. You can't fake it. So we take this and we apply it to, the, to a woman. Inside the woman, let's say that there's a jewel and you won't have access to it. Of course you won't have access to it. It's the goddess. That's what you want to have access to. You want to bliss. Because on earth, it's the only place where you can have Bliss and a form of reset. Nurturing. Like in Zelda, when he goes see that little fairy and it just replenishes him. This is the goddess. So this is what you're looking for. A form of rest that nourishes you, rebuilds you. So this is what you're looking for as a man. And here you go. And now... Of course, she's confused, she doesn't know fuck all, and she's playing all these games, and it's, okay, we, let's keep it simple. And you're like, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna, you don't know what you're looking for, but this is what you're looking for, I'm gonna pound the shit out of her and break her apart. Because I'm gonna fucking, it's like a kid on Christmas, who just like rips every little box and the whole thing, I'm gonna have like, that's what you're trying to do. Except you, you can't, just like the laugh, you can't have access to the real. So if it so happens that you can pound the living shit out of her, and she's receptive because she's been trained like a doggy to be pound the living shit out of. And it so happens that this kind of female can respond to this. You'll have perhaps an impression for a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a second that you've reached what you're looking for. But you haven't. In fact, you're further away from it than ever. Because you actually think you've reached it. So the man wants to have access to the goddess, that is why he's attracted to the woman. But you don't know how. And also, you are not worthy. 
And this is something you can't accept as a man. What do you mean I'm not worthy? I'm rich, I'm cool, I'm handsome, I'm this, I'm that. Yeah, perhaps, not every man is cool, handsome and all of this, but if you so happen to be this, great, she'll let you come in, in the courtyard. Imagine, imagine a temple, a temple with chambers and chambers and chambers and chambers and chambers and chambers, and, chambers, and then there's like a courtyard and a fence. She'll let you enter into the courtyard and she wants to see what you're really about and very quickly you prove what kind of man you are. This is what she does unconsciously. You don't, you, she, in the, in the modern day, I'm sorry to say, the woman is confused. She's an idiot. She doesn't know what's going on. She doesn't know herself. She has no idea who she is. Otherwise, she wouldn't behave the way she does. Okay? But it doesn't change the fact that this is what she is unconsciously. It's, this is still the modus operandi. It's just covered up with stupidity and nonsense and cultural blah, right? But the womb, which is intelligence and can never be deceived. So she, so yeah, of course, so, she, so you have the genetic uh, wherewithal to be allowed to enter into the courtyard. And so what? Then what? Then you open your mouth and anything and everything you do is just proving that you don't know what you're doing. But you have techniques, of course, because you're the man. And now you use, you're trying to hack her. So you're going to use your little technique. Mm, 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 all right, you're going to try to use your technique to create in her some kind of release so that maybe she gushes and then you say, she has four orgasms. I'm the man because I can give a man, woman many orgasms. Did you get to meet the goddess? You don't even know what I'm talking about. So. Dude, I'm telling you. Um, <laughs> The woman, the mind, the unconscious, it's a labyrinth. So you've, you've seen movies where you know the labyrinth, they just move and just according to you think this way, it goes like this, you're, like, so you're fucked. She's that. That's it. You can't penetrate the mysteries of nature with your stupid fucking intellect. And when you try, you've just eliminated yourself from the equation. You've just failed. Before starting, you failed because <laughs> that means you're so stupid. It's like you go to China and you try to talk to the person in, in German. Like, wh Why? Learn the language. But you don't even know that there's a language. This is not your fault. And the woman doesn't know that for the most part. Okay, I'm generalizing, but 99 point, I don't know how many percent. Okay, she don't know. So she can't. In her presence, she can't teach you. I hope this makes sense. I hope this you're, you're listening to, to me and you're not taking this uh, in, a, in, a, in a negative way. This, this is like... So, mo modern world rapes. It takes without consideration. It doesn't care. And because it has technology with its intellect that it thinks that it can, it has now control over nature. If you remember the example I said about Hawaii, this is the second part I thought while I was on the plane flying from Oahu to Murakai. I said, hey, funny, at any point, she can just go like this. And it's all finished. How ironic. And everybody lives their lives not thinking about it. I'm like, any point the volcano could just like shake and every, all these little cement little things that people worship, gone. So, this is our modern world. This applies to men and women. Both are so fucking confused, living at the crust of existence. And that crust of existence is now becoming a virtual one. So, it's like not only superficial, it's super superficial. Double. When I'm talking about we rape, yeah, this is what people are doing. We rape nature. We have no care for nature. We like to pretend that we do with our friend, the Swedish lady who wants to save humanity and the belugas. You don't care about your nature. You certainly don't care about her nature. Nobody understands even what that means. And that sounds kind of funny. And I don't take no drugs. I assure you. I'm sober as sober can be. I'm telling you there's a whole other realm of reality. And unless you, I, we learn that realm of reality, it's like we're stuck 
in a labyrinth that has no exit. It's like one of the movies that I don't remember its name. You can't get out. You're fucked. You can never find what you want. So you want to go, you go to a woman, you don't even know why you go to her. You don't even, I, I want to get laid. And you, I want to have, I want to come. Yeah. That come is the representative of a tiny, tiny, tiny instant of bliss. Like so tiny doesn't count. But this is all you know. And for you, this is wonderful. And it's amazing. And it's the pinnacle of your existence. But what you're looking for is bliss. But you don't understand the science of bliss. You've never studied the science of bliss. And you're so far away from it. And you have so much to learn. That it's, so, it's, it's like, you know when you're, you, you have to rehab after a surgery? It's so fucked up. That you're not sure if you really want to do it. You have to have a really good reason to want to go through the process. I'm talking about like a, a real surgery. It's, it's, it's uh, anybody who has, it's, it's a thing, okay? So it's the same. It's like, oh my God, I have to like relearn everything and unlearn everything. It's awkward. It's painful. It's difficult. It's not easy. The world doesn't support it. it, it it's, it's, what can I tell you? But if it's, if this makes sense to you, you understand it and it's worth, of course it's worth the price. It's not even a question. So, again, in regards to men, you're looking for something in the woman. You don't know how to access it, so you try what you see in television, or what has been portrayed as manhood everywhere around you. Like, the guy is literally punishing the girl. Isn't that odd? Like, he's, he's raping her. She's not, she's, she's, she calls that sex. You know how sensitive a vagina is and how sensitive the, the how do you say this, the uterus, the color uterus, I don't know how to say this in English, the cervix, cervix how, cer how sensitive the cervix is. And here you are, L listen, dude, if, like, think about it. Like, <laughs> there's eggs, you know, like when you buy eggs, how there are eggs living in those ovaries. And you're like, bomb, 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 you're punishing her. Now, I don't have a problem that you're punishing her. If you enjoy punishing her and she enjoys being punished, you do what you got to do. It's not the point. The point is, isn't that odd? That she needs that level of violence to feel something? I don't know, man. Like, come on. I don't want to say it's fucked up, but it's, it's like, like, come on. Like, really? Like, you need to be raped? so hard so that you can feel something and this is sexuality and then like all you have to do is like like one level down in the psychology of things and you're like this is like self-hatred and self-hatred and self-punishment and like it's all this like stuff i won't get into just now like it's like you like and this is like love making get the fuck out of here anyways Listen, if it works for you, it works for you. Good for you. It doesn't work for me. And uh, because it's shallow, it's empty, and doesn't give me what I want, and the woman is never satisfied, although you pretend she is satisfied, she's not. Because after, she, let's say you did a good job and you fucking raped the shit out of her properly, according to your standards, uh, she'll recover in a couple of minutes, and she'll be hungry for more. Which means it didn't work. Maybe for a couple of minutes or half an hour or half a day, she's, yeah, that's it. It didn't transform her. This is what I'm trying to tell her. I tell you. You didn't touch her inside of her at a place that transforms her. You blow her brains out, really. You give her a cosmic experience. Now that's a man of fullness. That's having a... Big dick. It ain't got nothing to do with the size though. It's got to do with the fullness of the man. So you see? This obsession with dick sizes and all this fucking rubbish superficial shit. This is the world we live in, man. Oh my God. It's, it's horrible. If this is what sexuality is about, uh, look at the outcome. <laughs> everybody suffers and everybody's miserable. That's the truth. You just need to be honest about it. 
And if you don't agree, stop drinking and see. Be sober. Try. Sober. No drugs, no alcohol. And see if you don't eat too much meat either, because it kind of numbs you. And see what happens. And then you'll see. It's, oh, it's going to be another experience. Zero alcohol. You try. It's, you, then you're going to now start to be confronted to like the awkwardness of the relationship. Or the staleness of it. Food for thought. Thank you so much for your attention.